Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes. I don't know how you read it, but I call it Ecclesiastes. My lady. 3 verse 1. Three verse it says, one. to everything, there is a season. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. Can you see that here? That verse there? To everything, there is a season. You see the verse? Everything, there is what? A season. To everything, there is a season. And, and a time. In other words, everything have got it. its own season. Its own time. And to a purpose. To every purpose. As long as it's here. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. What is this teaching you? It's teaching you that you are not like me. And you are not like another. It says everything. There's a season of that thing. And a time of that thing. So, for that purpose, just write purpose. Purpose. What is the meaning of a purpose? What you are created for. A season and a time for what you are created for. When you are here, you need to know your season, your time. And you need to know what you are created for. When I was reading this, I began to understand why this scripture is saying this. I want to share that with you. This scripture is saying that all of us we won't manifest our purpose at the same time. We are created and will be determined by the time and, and seasons to be what God wants us to be. When God created you to be something, its purpose. His purpose about your life, you need to know it. Ask your neighbor, do you know the purpose about your life? So, or oh, you think, or oh, you think, or oh, you think, or oh, you think, you learn from YouTube, internet, internet, and you want to do what other people are doing. If you want to find yourself, Purpose about your life, go back to God. God is the one who can identify why He created you why and put you here on earth. And the heavens. If we read Second Timothy, just write from chapter 1, from verse 5. Yes, Chapter 1, verse 5. 2 Timothy 1, 5. Yes. He says what? <clears throat> when I call to remembrance the unreigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Louise and thy mother Eunice. And I am persuaded that in thee also, whatsoever I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of hands. 
Carry on reading tonight. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. But not thou, therefore, be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Yeah, it was not easy message to Timothy. To extend that Paul began to remind Timothy about his grandfather and his mother. When Paul was arrested, everybody began to have fear. Others had questions. Paul was arrested. You know, maybe others might have said, why Paul to him is not like to Peter. Because Peter, when he was arrested, the angel came and opened the prison doors. And Peter went out to prison. But here, this man was in prison. And then he began to tell Timothy, Timothy, you know, when I look at you, I've got expectation. Because you reminded me the faith that Lois, your grandfather, your grandmother, and Eunice, your mother, was having. So I've got expectation on you. Afflictions must come. Suffering for Christ must come. But don't forget, I have laid my hands on you. For your purpose. You know, most of the time, the purpose of God is affected in us. When we start to lose trust because of challenges. There are some challenges that comes our way and makes us to have unanswered questions. Unanswered questions. Later we question God, why are you allowing this? Paul said, Timothy, Timothy, I've learned my hands on you. But know that this only something that devil can use. What you have to do, live by faith. It will stir up that gift. Number two, don't forget the calling is a holy calling. Therefore, stay in holiness. Paul was saying, these are the two things that can take you to where God has created you. He reminded Timothy, 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 we are not Timothy. given a spirit of fear. If we have to be arrested, we must be arrested. But it must not disturb the purpose in your life. Who told you that when you are like this, it means you have failed in life. Who told you that when it is like this, it means you have failed in life. Can you see what Paul is saying? I remember your grandmother. I remember your mother. I've got an expectation. They had faith. Even you. You need to have that faith. It will stir up that gift. What you are created of. What you are created for. Must be seen in this way. You know, if really we don't know why we have purpose. 
from God. Satan can take advantage of us by what is happening around I mean, you go and read Daniel 1. You, you will see what Daniel did. He knew God. He knew God's purpose. That he has been called, but he must not defile himself. That he has been called, but he must not defile himself. He told that man, okay, you, can you try me when I'm not eating their food? Because it's not their food that determines me. It's the one who called me to be what I supposed to be. If, we, if you reach a point where you understand this thing, you will understand that it's not what people are heavy that can make you to fulfill your destiny and become what you are created for. It's when you sacrifice, you sacrifice and set yourself aside for him that will determine you. Set yourself aside. If you set yourself aside, you will live by faith and holiness. How on earth you are trying to apply faith when there is no holiness. I mean, what are you expecting? Daniel said, no, me, I cannot eat this food. This food, I saw them sacrificing them to Let me set myself aside. Let me not defile myself for what I've been created for from above. above. I want to see what God has created me for. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, the food that is eaten because God was involved makes him more better than the ones who ate without God. Because your purpose becomes visible when you involve God. God can use the useless things you think. The things that people are rejecting can be the best tools for you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Things that people are rejecting can be the best tool for you. I can give an example by David. When he ran away from Saul, the Bible says he went to stay in Adullam. The distressed people came. People that had attacks came. But because of the purpose of God in his life, God began to use the useless people and make the big army. I don't know if you're hearing me. You can meet useless people and God, and God can change them because of what you are created for. If you know what you are created for. Don't play with it. Don't defile it. Carry on maintaining it. There will be a time. There will be a season. And on that time and a season, God will lift you up. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You know our problem is we are taking one plus one he says good as I'm a pastor here. You know, what is happening in our churches? I've never seen something. I, it makes me to laugh sometimes. Sometimes we pastors we think we think. We think our blessings are from the people who are following us. That is why many people had professions. That is why but I mean five years ago to now. Five years old to Many of them are something in the church. Baba we are supposed to cage them. So that we get their finances. So that we'll be able to reach the purpose of God. Whereas the purpose of God has got nothing to do with anyone. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just I say, hey, the purpose of God in your life is of your life. 
friends. They have got nothing to do with anyone. I was anyone. Uh, you know, I've been checking there. I said, oh my God. I said, oh my God. I just say, oh my God. You know. I mean, the moment when you start to be calling yourself a prophet, you see this. You see this lady is coming. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having You choose the one who is having a car. The one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is having a car. You choose the one who is And from there, this one when now we are finished, another one who's a backup professional. We have the second one who's a better professional. Another one with a business card. Oh, more business. I fit out to allow allow to power business. You find all these people. But a lot of people are fella kamuka. Are sharing the same thing. Basharan treaty. And now the whole church. Kareke kau fella. Is deceived. E e free loy. Whereas in the church is a place where you are supposed to find your purpose. You go there without no one try to rob you. Without pastor even himself try to rob you. Everybody tried to seek God. From there, what will happen to the pastor who connect him with people that need that assignment he has been created for. That purpose in his life. But what we are trying to do is our kingdom is no longer his kingdom. Tazwasi, my friend. Don't play with your purpose. Let me show you one scripture concerning the purpose. It will help us. Proverbs 15, verse 22. This verse, I mean, I heard many people talking about it, but I felt like, you know, we are not saying it right. Just read Proverbs fifteen twenty two. Without counsel, plans go awry, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Read again. Without counsel, plans go awry, But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. So the question is, where are those counselors? Baba rotang or baba shatang bakai. Tell me, where are those counselors? Baba shatap ona bakai. Where are those counselors? Baba 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 shatang bakai. So can you see now? I mean, the plans. The plans will go worry. The planet is the toy. The trip has been delayed. This shows that we Christians, we were not titled to fail. Ora ora pulusa ne risa swane la opalelo. Because I mean, there are many counselors. Ona le ba ilichi ba banchi. There are many counselors. Ona le ba ilichi ba banchi. I remember one counselor who stood against David. Ko opala o muile chomo e makatanongli tafita. He gave a counsel and say, you know what? Uh, he was telling Absalom. And say, you know, your father is a warrior. So what we need to do? Let's do one, two, three. So Andre took a idea, shared it, said, listen, listen. Because he stood against David. His counselor, counsel was wasted. Was But this man was speaking the truth. Absalom was supposed to have killed him. Absalom was standing against Absalom. 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 Absalom was standing against Absalom.
it could not be accepted. In other words, any counsel that can be given is standing against God. Even when it's true, it won't be taken. Even if we advise, do this, that, that, and you are standing against God, you are still going to choose the worst. I don't know if you are hearing me. You will be surprised you are not taking our counsel. Even when it's true, Okay, but this one now. The Bible says, counselors, if there are many, the plans will be established. So we need to identify those counselors. God must give us a spirit of dissenting so that we know if this counseling is from God. I don't know if you're hearing me. We need to ask God, is this from God or is this from men? I love Josephat. Josephat. Josephat said no. When he was told about Ramoth Gilead, he said, yes, I can hear that. I can hear that, but let's call the prophets. Let's call the counselors. The counselors. Okay, the Bible says, right? Can you hear that? The prophets of King Ahab were standing. Go and conquer. Go and conquer. This is what is happening to God. You'll be blessed. Go and be blessed. Go and be blessed. But it was not according to the purpose. The purpose of God there was to eliminate King Ahab. But the prophets will say, go there and be eliminated. Conquering was different with what God has planned. That's what it says. Are you aware of what is happening to you? Even if we come to you and say, you will prosper. You will prosper. If it's against God's will, nothing will happen to you. Even if we say, you will be a millionaire. You will be a zero name. Because the purpose of God, God wants you to be poor. But he has said he sees it. And he is In other words, even us who are prophesying, to prophesy, understanding the season and the times of God. If you believe, say amen. As somebody says, you understand, understand you have purpose in life. Ask your neighbour, do you understand oh, your purpose in life? Say, so tell me your purpose. Because there's multiple, multiple, multiple of counsellors. Counselling. Man is coming. Where is the money now? Where is the money? You you what about prophecy you've been given? Prophecy you've been given? What is it? If it's not according to the purposes of God, it will never come. You know, I'm, I'm trying to say that it has to be the issue of reaching a level where we understand God's time and His seasons. I believe if we are preaching the gospel, we understand. Ghost time and Follow me, you'll be a prophet. Follow me, you'll be a prophet. Follow me. Ah, you have been following. You have been following. Are you a prophet now? You move from this church to another. Are you, are you a prophet now? Hmm. Because you don't understand what God created you for. Today you are here. Someone say you'll be a prophet. Follow me, follow me, follow me. You'll be a prophet. You'll be surprised you are going there. You go up, go down. You end up being a false prophet. You want money. You want money. You know, between the week, uh, I'm just saying this on Sunday. What are they? Kasonta. I met one brother. Kiko panili buti yomwe. He told me something. He said. I'm pochata ba yomare. He said, you know, we hate you so much. Neruto ilo ufita. 
you know all, all our group I mean, we you want to be straight I confess the truth he told me he we don't even want you we are tried by all means but he said he went to his friend he went and his friend, friend said no you don't need to do like that if one you know our method our method is fake it until you make it fake it until you make it <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know the purpose of God. And because most of the time, the reason why people today are what they are today, they fail to dissect. Fake it until you make it. What is the purpose of God? It's how we work. But you have known, it's a yes. You have to be known, get money. Can I tell you this? You need to know yourself from today. Even if you are not that prophet, make it. Many churches here in South Africa, the people are rich. Even wise people, they are not doing what we are doing. They are very rich. I don't know if you are hearing me. They are preaching the gospel If you are called to preach, preach. If you are called, called to prophesy, prophesy. prophesy. But don't, don't copy someone. Don't do things of other people. Find yourself. If not, you will criticize other people. Then what will you do? You will fight other people. You will compete other people. Because you are not a prophet. You are a preacher. 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 You won't be the same. Everybody of God, his own purpose. Take your stand, follow God. Once you identify, once you can identify, no one can make you to be a loser. You will hold on, waiting for a season. There will be a time of manifestation. You will be manifesting one day. You will rise up and you will be seen and become visible. I don't care whether you are but there's a time that has been set by God for you. If you hold on, that time will come. I said that time is coming. And I said that time is now. God will never allow you to die, die without rising up. If you, if, you are, if you are in your season, if you are in your purpose, I don't know if you are hearing me. I want to be in my purpose. I don't want to die like any other person. But I want to do what I'm created to do. It's purpose for you. Let me show you this scripture. Let me show you this scripture. Let me show you this scripture. This scripture we love to read, but we don't understand. Romans 8 verse 28. Romans 8 verse 28. We just read this scripture. That's why I want us to read. You know this scripture. But I want us to read it slowly. We understand it. Read. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. I'll give you my brief, my small history. Uh, that will really uh, uh, shock you. Hey, I was born in a village called Madombich. I attend school there. Where I was staying, when I'm staying here, the school is there. I just heard that when I was small, because the teaching of the old time, people used to sing. So normally the children will be many. They will be under the tree. The I heard that I will be going out. To to them. Them. I heard that I will be going out. I heard that I will be 
So I will hear the word they are singing. So I will be singing with them. 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 And then I began to know the things they are learning before they take me to school. But they are learning the things they are learning before they take me to school. But I thought the school will be easy. So I'm like, "Can I know your school long? How can I talk about you now?" You see, when you are listening, you are here. You know, there's issue of writing now. When I let you write, you are not happy. There's issue of kneeling down. You when I let you write, you are not happy. But then you have to kneel down. Can I go here and write? You are not happy. Take a pencil, you write. Watch a pencil, you write. Beat you up. Wow, wow, felileja. When I start to go to school, I began to find that ah. I get to my school long, I get to my limo here, ora. There was this teacher, you know. No, 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 no. I was surprised in our class there was a, a shovel there. Neke makala ko school ngone ona le shovel or shovel. For sure. And then now the teacher entered. He said he showed us the shovel. So teacher, at na school, at na kara class, uto mare voncha for sure lo yela. Because what I was thinking, it was going to be smooth, nothing smooth. Na neke na no ya school ngi tava chamo na tifel. He showed us that shovel. Ah, a voncha for sure. He said. Do you see this shovel? Oh, could you even afford to do it? Lift it up, you show us. I Santa. We now want to beat you when you are making noise. Is this your go, dear? Can I just go roach corasa? Here, you will find yourself melting here. Odo diwana uch kono kawaf. You will become one with this cement. Odo fana na cement dey watangana na yo. And they say you will take the shovel. Odo dia for sure on the ukwato langa yo. So always I'll be looking at that shovel like a cat. Ita yeten nakite na ihumole laki chava foshol. So all of us will be afraid of shovel. Rote rote baru koshava foshol ya rasumezo. So we learn by fear. Ra guda ngawo ofa. This makes us to learn school. Zari taoriri kute ngamanda shikuron. But when I was growing up, I began to love soccer. Mara ezidi shikawa na tomo funa ball. Go there, play soccer. Di changi di chota ba ball. And then in our family, because I grew up in the church, we came to church. But I hated our church because our church starts from one o'clock. Yeah, I was in the summer and I was in the summer. And then 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 I was in the summer. I was shaking my head. And there was this TV. And they are playing on a TV. Like you know, catch a catch a uchi monis. So most of the time now, I will run to play soccer. So I'm chicky to kitty me like soccer ball. Go school. But I will find a way to escape there. Mara kito chona tsela ya uchi na kwale kaya kwa. One o'clock, I will see the car of my father. Kawa ni kitla. Everybody to church. Kitla wana kolo ya papa ifita. And me, I'm still playing soccer. My plan of soccer was to run away from the church. So that I go and watch soccer. The moment I saw the car of my father going, I saw the moment I saw the car I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, I saw the moment I saw the car going, Somewhere there, half past four. Half past four. I'll say my father will be searching me in the church. I need to go to church. I will rush to church. You know, in the church, they, you know, is this church where everybody preaches? So. Kereke la motuka ufela wia rera. And then everybody dance like. O mwalio mungovi na kamuha i kau mwa wenao. So myself, there will be gozamnya ngo de. Na kita ba kile gosa kimi mnyango. No, there will be gosa mnyango. Oh, utawa le mtoa ema kumi na kumari gosa. Aba duku, aba dukulu wababi na. I hit the door, gosa mnyango. Na kile tume di sa gosa. One young man, I enter. Katsena le naka joi naka chola pil. And I go and sit there. My father was watching this boy. Katsena le naka joi naka chola pil. And I go and sit there. My father was watching this boy. Katsena le naka joi naka chola pil. And I go and sit there. So I end up carrying on. Kachola peliki di ajual. I'll be beaten up. This. Bancha papa di ajulu chika muka. Until I told my father, I don't love this church. Ufita laki mucha vuzor papa vuzi kerke aki nyaki, aki rat. Because in this church, people can still go to Sangoma. Kau pali kerke ni ba chuma no ya Sangoma ni ba takerke. 
the last thing that happened was Ndrama fellow ya udi alasi my mother began to be sick mama tomolwala i'm just trying to cut this story short kile ka no fuku cha story se i was already grown up now na kiseche ki gudile nyana and by then i was going to study metric kana ko yewe ne ki udi wa metric mother was taken to where her mother was from mama ba muchia wa muisa kwale avelilwe ngona mama mwadula kuku mwadula problems to our family ka hore ne ona le mathata ka lape elder brothers were studying they were not there bobuti akane ba siyo ba le dikolong ba ithuta they were in university ne ba le go university and then me i was the oldest i was nan ne kile no mulu ka mo hai so jo to komela ba nyana when my father i'm sure because my mother was not there kala ba kala re mama na se gona ke no dumela eh papa na a tsamaise mama siyo attack ke di attack cha fita that attack makes my uh, my family to be divided ta attack cha cha dirola la pala e shili fapa ne re arogana my father went there my mother went there papa ya kwa mama ya kwa you know the family began to see them le la pala dula fatsi when my father is there when my mother is there papa ukwa mama ukwa the problem came putata ba tswelela the problem was putata ashiwa we have to move from this village now ritso ntjo utjwa mo motsengwe we went to another village ra ya rodu la motsengwe mongwe i began to be like in that village ka thomo dula motsengwe ola i'm the oldest no mogolo and we have got this younger brothers and ona le bo buti ya shiva babanyana and my father will come sometimes tate uta tana ko chidingwe mother is not there mama ao get from there uto amo you know i began to complain about that ka thomo bile la ka ditabache spoke with my father ka bile la tate i'm sending all of you to your mom ka o fela ke le romela go mama i said i'm not going to mama ka rena ke go mama take us where we come from we na re bo chetse ko re tha and where we come from the house was destroyed so more thang ona ntone isi chithubile my father called the family e papa a bitsa batho ba le lapa this boy i don't understand it mushimano wake mo kwishishi so he's fighting me o lona le nna and from there from there the family say okay le lapa la ra a o lokile another one say i'll take this too o mo arna ke ta chia ba another one say i'll take this one o mo arna ke ta chia ba i'm taken to another village na ka chiwa ka iswa o nwe from another village to another village o toa bo mo mo tse go mo ya mo tse mo mo from another village to another village o toa mo tse mo mo ke ya mo mo nwe one time i counted i found i've stayed in five villages a ke ba la tsa tshile go ka thorre ke ile ka dula metseng e mehlana and from that time o tlo ana ko yeo you know it happens within two years o dira e tsika mengwa e mebedi but the last time now is kana ko ya mafelelo I was taken to where my wife came from. Ka chiwa ka iswa mo mosadi ya ka tswa ngona. When I was there. A ke le kwa. I began to study teaching. Tsomoi tuta ke dia teaching. I went to college to study. Ka ya college ngwe tuta. I mean education there. Education wa teacher. To be a teacher. Robert teacher. Later. Kamara wa mo. You know I used to do practicals where my na ke dia di practical mo mama na ya ona sekolo but mara it taught me to seek god taba ye ya ntuta gore ke nya ke modim i realized that i don't have anybody ka tlo re a ona ntwe ke tsetile ka yona in the process when i was traveling a ke ntse ke sepela ke sepela ka tsenwa ko kwata i have to fight ke sontse re ke lwana i have to beat people they have to beat ke sontse re ke shape ba thu ba ntse ba nchapa but when salvation came jo nang ha pulo so e fita i was studying in the college na ke ithuta ke le college in when salvation came pulo so i'm pitel i was now studying the college ya no na ke ithuta ke le college ngena yeo i started to preach ka thoma urera i started to talk about jesus ka thoma bolela ka chesu but i didn't know that the assignment mara na ke sa tsi bore mushumo of all this thing that we had been wa na cheka o fela di dia lao was the purpose of god to take me here na ile morero wa modimo wa re kitemo i want to tell you why i came ke kolo botsho re wa ina ke telemo I came here in Tembisa. Kitele mo Tembisa. Because of my student. Kale ba kala mo rutishi wa ko mongwe. I had a student I was teaching him. Na ke na le mo rutishi mo mongwe na ke mo ruta. I was telling you this. When I was teaching mathematics. I ke ruta mathematics. He passed 
with A and B. A pass B. So he came here. He, I didn't know, know that he's from here. None except the word "tag" in my way. He told me about the company. I'm put up a company which was AECI. By which or AECI. I'm sure the company is in Motherfonte. Yeah, Dumela Company, we come Motherfonte. You know all this. I don't want to buy the If you come that side, I'll cut that You won't get this peanuts. We can sit on the edge to watch the whole thing. Come wear this side as I'll go there. When you get this, I came that side. Nakata katu wakata kake. I came this side. I came that kake. I found that I have to do any job to be here. Katolore ke sunja no diyamu shuma mu elu mu waka uvani kimo. I want to tell you what happened to me. Kenya wale wicharu diya ichegona. The first day I went to search for a job. I went to a place called Menpower. In Kempton Park. In Kempton Park. I found a man there. That man said to me. The moment he saw me entering. He chased me away. I didn't know anything. He said, go away. I didn't even know this Winnie Mandela. Go away. I don't want to see this man. I said, what's wrong? He says, do you know Winnie Mandela? Go there. I said, what is the place? He says, it's close to Ivory. I was there in my Kulung section. I didn't even know Winnie Mandela. So I began to remember when things are happening. Can I tell you this? All things you went through. All history, pains and shame. It's for your purpose. Right now, I understood why I'm like this. God never wanted me to grow up in Madovija. Because in Madovija we used to fight. Madovija na rilwana. Problems. Go to my village. Problems. Right now, I don't think there's a problem. But if I grew up there, maybe I was supposed to be a tutu. I don't know if you're hearing me. My friends died there. The ones I grew up with. But God's purpose. Purpose. It's always prevailing. I don't care what you are going through. It, it might be a shame. It it is is suffering or lack. But it is taking you where God wants you to be. I don't know if you are hearing me. Whatever you are going through, it's, it's not shame. It's not shame. It's a program. I say it's a program. It's where God is taking you. If you go to my family, they will tell you that I hated church. I'm the person who hated church. Many of my family, they begin to see me preaching the gospel with this. They knew I'm a I'm serious. They knew they wanted to find out why I'm saying this. They know, they know that I found something. Can I tell you this? I don't know what is happening with me. But can I tell you this? Whether they know something about you or not. not. But it won't stop the purpose of God about your life. It will never. It might be a failure. It might be facing on. I want to tell you. The purpose of God will be there. The purpose of God will be there. The purpose of God will be there. That is why people can still fight me. But I won't lose focus. Remember, you are fighting someone who stay in five villages. Remember, you are fighting someone who stay in five villages. 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 I know pains. Get the babu toko. God have to pack you. Mudi mo tonto re au vya kanya. God have to cook you. Mudi mo tonto re au apie. Before you come out. Uso chelele wa chola pepe nene. I don't know what you are going through. Na kete vuli kopana le. It's not what I went through. Asinto na kiki kopana le. But what you are going through. Mara yeli na li kopana le. It suits your purpose. Iswa nechi mora rawa le. But God created you. Ndemo de mali fule tingi ona. Must come to pass. Iswa nechi chole la bopulong bale na. I want to write a book about my story. It will encourage many people. Because I 
That is why I believe in people who are weak and poor. That is why kidumela kudukudu bato asinang silo manengu. God took me there. Kwa wanili na mudi muncheri anako uwe. He took me there. Muncheri anake uwe. Don't forget what God created you for. Kadi yemo chana jwale. The problem of your parents is not your problem. But God allowed you to be born. Your parents is not your problem. But God allowed you to be born. 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 But God allowed you to He knows what you're going through. What is it that you are going through? And he believes you can make it. And we are doing well, Lord. Let us chole. I say he believes you can make it. We are doing well, Lord. Let us chole. But let me show you maybe the last scripture. Let me give you one chunk of one last scripture. Let me say I must tell you my history. So that you understand. Let me give you one chunk of one last scripture. Me, me, even when I have these shoes. Nalie ke apere di etache. I'm rich. Ki khumile. Can you see when I'm wearing this shirt? I don't want more. Because where God took me, I know there was nothing. And you, you know where you come from. Don't try to match your standards. Don't try to compare yourself to another. Accept yourself the way you are. And believe God. He will reveal you. You will find yourself. When you trust Him, He will take you to where you come from. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Ask me, what is your history? Some, uh, some of you here, someone give you a challenge. Run away. Run away. And you are still saying, oh, cha, 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 cha. Another one, some of you here. Baba you know, someone. 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 Person marry you and divorce you. Some of you here, you have tried something, you fail. It's not what is happening to you. It is what is happening inside it you. Don't look around you. Look inside you. He is unto you. He is greater than the one outside you. Amen. Amen. Let's read this scripture we close. I've got many scriptures, but I felt if I can talk my history and geography, you will make it. Sure, right, let's look at this one. Uh, maybe we yeah, let's read. Uh, Philippians 2. Uh, Philippi, chapter 2. From verse 2 to 10. A Philippi chapter 2, thou verse 2, thou 10. Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded, mm -hmm. having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Mm -hmm. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Stop there. All right, let's, let's look at Jesus as our example. Jesus. You, can you can go and read at home the whole. Jesus was God and he is God. For him to fulfill God's purpose, he humbled himself to be in the form of man. So that after he suffered this shame, obeying God, God, He'll be set on the right hand of the Father. 
Can you see how God works? He humbled himself to be in the form of man. You know, I was asking myself, if it was you and me, having such kind of glory, you will prove a point. You will just say, me, you try me, you will die. You know, you will speak things that shows that you don't have the glory. I don't know if you hear me. Do you know that when you start to defend yourself, you are telling us you have got nothing? You look here, Jesus, in the form of God. He humbled himself. Do you know that Jesus was clapped? Let's go to Jesus. We love the Lord. Clap. Clap. I'm going to finish. And he never responded. He just asked. Tell me of what you are clapping me of. Jesus was insulted. He kept quiet. If it was you and me. You will pray a prayer of die. Jesus knew that. If he can say, he call God, the purpose that is there on earth will be affected. There are some times when you are meeting what you are meeting. Don't call God. Allow what it has started to be completed. Tell about it. Don't just call God in everything. Whatever that is squeezing you is taking you to the right hand of the Lord. Sometimes, okay, let me give you an example. Sometimes our Christianity is determined by the achievements of our prayers. Jesus pray a prayer of I want to drink this cup. But I want to drink it your way, God. But many times, we are supposed to be praying, I don't want to see this. I don't want to go to the cross. That cross, that shame, that difficulty, it's working for your purpose. You will never reach a certain place if you try to defend yourself. There are some places you will never reach. One time I was walking somewhere. So this man came to me and said, Ah, is it you? He, he, he stretches there and he said, I'm blessed. I don't believe I can meet you. I said, well, he said, he was expecting people here guarding me. He said, he was expecting people here. He says, it's you that I'm watching all the time. I said, yes. Because God has got his own purpose. He can make me to meet this person and this purpose. And you can still come, you want to meet me, and it becomes difficult. Just give so all these purposes are different. But it works to take us to where God wants us. When you look at your failure, don't judge yourself. If God humbles you now, agree. If you fall down now, agree. Don't just pray and say, why, why? Why, why? Ask your neighbor, what are you facing? 
Tell your neighbor. It's for your purpose. It's for your purpose. Ask your neighbor again. What are you facing? They say it's very good for you. It's for your purpose. God bless you.